Now, for someone like Asantiwa, she can afford trips abroad. If she packs her load today and says she wants to move from Ghana to Canada, all she needs is the requirement and nobody will deny her visa. Nobody will deny her entrance into Canada because she is holding the Ghanaian passport. When you give, you collect. <laughs> 2024 if you are not strong leave social media go home guys i am back again like i never left hello guys welcome back and thank you for clicking if you are new here hello hi my name is lillian of course if you are my returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification ensure to put it on the last one that says all that way is the only way you can get notified anytime i upload a video please like this video you guys this is a reaction video gateway to africa versus giant of africa these two have been going head to head even before i was born these two countries that likes to hit on each other especially on social media the other time i made a video of this kind it was about Anti Afia and Kojo Shadon. It was a normal thing because these two have been popular for a very long time and they have been going head to head with Nigerians on the internet. Due to that, it was not a surprising thing for a lot of us. But the person that have joined the list of celebrities that is giving Nigerians both bars will surprise you that is because she is new to this space like she is new to the internet where they say if you don't have a heart you should go home because the internet will either make or break you for Antiafia and and Kojo Shadon they have been around for a very long time so they have had a taste of the, the Nigerian bullies on the internet but I mean for this newest celeb that have joined the list of the Ghanaians that have time to spare to teach Nigerians a lesson to give Nigerians a taste of their own medicine her name is Chef Fiela Tu all the way from Tamale Ghana oh yes for me at least expected her to come through because I mean, you guys will be wondering this woman is new so what's up is she going to be able to stand the nigerian internet shows and because my people <laughs> we are known for a lot of things you know the world has even at some point said nigerians are the smartest now i would like you to know that smart and intelligent they are not the same but today we are not talking about that i mean nigerians have been coming through you know you'll be wondering can she stand them when they come for her because of course you know that my people are the number one when it comes to dragging other people especially when it concerns Ghanaians. i'd like you to know that she already had a taste of of the niger internet bullies i mean do you remember she is one of those um, people that have been dragged on the internet because in January of 2024 she attempted to break the Guinness Book of Record for the longest cooking individual and she did that for numbers of days and hours like broke and set the record now in this video i'm not here to say oh she got disqualified or she got qualified by the guinness book of record organizers no i'm just explaining to you that her love hate relationship with internet bullies from from the people of my country i mean by the people of my country is not a new thing to her she have had a taste of the ninja internet bullies the ones that will bully you when they finish dragging you they'll be like you will hear a nigerian say something like this I happy say I be Nigerian because if I not be Nigerian, I go the jealous Nigerians. You go they pay me. You will be like, okay, this person want to say, oh, because of the oil or because of the population or because of our nickname, Giant of Africa. You will be wondering, that is where the person is driving at. But no, the person is driving at telling you that you hear the person say something like this because the way we they drag people eh. We sabi drag people. Ah ah, we they drag them. We be the best. I mean. <laughs> 
yeah that's how good nigerians are when it comes to dragging people we do this we drag ourselves a lot back at home i was a gentle girl like i told you guys in some of my videos but my people helped me and thank god they prepared me because it's as if all the ghost bars this year we're not gonna grieve for anybody all the internet ghost bars between anybody and any country is this year i mean people kept it at the bank to release it this year and that means that if you are not strong enough to withstand internet rules 2024 is not for you because the year will break you do you understand the internet will break you so for some of us i'm glad i was built and ready to excel this year now i am even the one giving out by the time i do both you hear my people crying hey she want to sell all of us oh she hated her country oh. by the time i do bass you hear them say hey she have finished us they said i'm rude they don't know that they built me so now they have successfully built so many people and now she made a post on her instagram handle i am following her on instagram of course she is a Ghanaian. of course i am a, a lover a supporter of the ghana people uh -huh. the people of ghana any and everyone from ghana is my family so because of that i've been following her since the guinness book of record attempt so i saw one of her videos working so beautiful so i thought maybe she want to tell us something about her new deal or something and then i had this now listen to this video i'll be back to give my own bias yes. it's in ghana nigerians have never seen some before how she troll my people and when they are trolling nigerians they follow drag me but i am an activist and i i am not supposed to be emotional about anything i'm supposed to just take it and deal with it and that is why i'm here to for those that are concerned oh why is she saying that to nigerians please don't even go there because this woman suffered the most in the hands of my country people given the fact that her own Guinness breaking record attempt was exactly cooking, which has been done by my fellow Nigerian, beautiful Hida Basi from Akwaibom State. She has attempted, broke and set the record. But what a lot of people from my country forgot to remember at that time was that already a chef from another country, I think, is it India or Tanzania, has already broken and set a new record. So it's not like Fiela too was going to, was going to break the record directly on Hilda. No, but I think a lot of my people forgot. And they were not happy with her. They were trolling her. They were saying things like, you guys, we are the standard for Ghanaians. We are the one that showed you guys the way. Mm -hmm. So they said all those things to her. Not all Nigerians, some. Because when you say all Nigerians, it, that simply means that me too. So not all Nigerians, some Nigerians. So. They troll her so bad. But she did not say anything. She waited patiently for the same set of people to troll her sister asantiwa because according to reports i have not seen or heard that from a reliable source so whatever i'm saying here is what i'm seeing them saying about asantiwa so i there are reports according to the internet videos that she got disqualified by guinness book of record after her attempt to break the guinness book of record for the longest singing individual that was held in a Ghana in 2023 
so that she got disqualified for the mistakes that happened during the singathon so i don't know how reliable this is since a lot of videos circulate the internet some nigerians and of course the errand boy of the nigerian people like Aji Maxi and the rest have been on her case you know dragging her mocking her mocking mocking everybody and so this lady is fighting in defense of her Ghanaian sister. She's not even doing this for herself. And that is why I brought the matter here. I was waiting for the town crier of our people on Instagram, Instant Blog, to pick up that post and make a mountain so that my people can go on her page and drag her so that we can give her a feel of how we do it and then later brag. We are so good at this, we can drag her. But Instant Blog, unfortunately, have not seen that post. But my sister Fiela, let me tell you something. When it comes to Instant Blog, they may decide to repost that post next year. Any day they see it, they will post it. So be ready to continue your thick skin because <laughs> you see, this is going to be tough. So I am completely 100% on her side because why not? <laughs> when people teach you how to do something, you are supposed to use them to learn, you know, so they can learn the learn the hard way. So Fiela is now truly Nigerians and saying, if Nigerians see these ones now, they will think they are in heaven. Of course, why wouldn't you say that? When you will see a video like this on the internet, if you see you, won't you be angry with people who abandon issues like this? Let's play these clips, I'll be back. <laughs> you will be like uh, how can you leave all of these issues that you guys have at hand to come and talk about one individual one person from ghana who already have her love life going her life as a mom going for her she already has her own career going for her she's young she can redo this if she wants and that is not even all she is from a country that cares a country where health insurance works for both the rich and the poor and of course a country with steady power supply a country where security men and women are actively working to defend and protect their country a country where people place lives before material things now come and troll people like that just because one person out of millions of people in ghana attempted to break a guinness book of record for whatever reason she got disqualified you leave all of your own problem to come and troll and drag her so make it make sense because it doesn't make sense because right now as to speak some people some nigerians are on the road protesting for a better life and there's some people on the internet trolling someone who lives in a country that cares for its citizen no matter how you some Ghanaians, no matter how it is i know that some Ghanaians do not understand when we nigerians come out to say you guys are in heaven just like fiela said it in the video you guys are living your best lives because we are asking for just the basics don't give us too much in fact all, of all we are asking for is half it's not a full just half of what you guys are getting in ghana make our government give us so that a pregnant woman will not die giving birth so that you once you hear that your relative is sick you have to ask you are panicking because they may not make it out of that sickness because of what lack of money to treat them of course those that are doing well financially don't care about those that are not doing well so when they hear someone died out of poverty they'll be like mm, 
what is my business everything is fine just like i saw a video by one nigerian liar that says she's okay there are no kidnapping she has never been kidnapped imagine imagine someone saying that let me play that video so that you guys will hear directly from the horse's mouth so it won't be like i'm so i'm making up issues you know making up things where they are known so someone is making an insensitive comment like this they said they are afraid for the insecurity but since they have anti in here they are not afraid. Mommy, please, can you tell us more about the insecurity? Because I hear insecurity a lot. Please, do they shoot people? Have they been shooting you in your streets or no, anything? No, no, no. So you walk freely in your street, in your area? Freely. When was the last time you had gone shot from arm robbers or arm I've women? not even experienced such before. Mama, it's the same thing with me. Because sometimes when I hear this, I say, ah. I've not even experienced any form of robbery in Nigeria. I personally, I walk around the streets. Sometimes I get to my house past 10. 11. 11 God bless you, 11 o'clock. But when I go on social media, I'm hearing buzz booze. The way they see it on social media is the same way I see it on social media. Because she and her family have not been kidnapped. So those that are being kidnapped is not a problem, it's fine you know so such an insensitive word coming out from someone who calls us a good person so fiela is truly nigerians and i don't want them to even act like they are innocent so when people bully you for bullying them take it don't be too hard on yourself don't say things like they hate us they are jealous of us they want our attention like attention when you have real issues to deal with but you are out on the internet trolling one person from a country where her government cares about her name they cares about her someone that can decide today okay fine now for someone like asantiwa she can afford trips abroad if she packs her load today and says she wants to move from ghana to canada all she needs is the requirement and nobody will deny her visa nobody will deny her entrance into canada because she is holding the ghanaian passport do you understand so you who cannot go to anywhere except if you use one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to buy one passport from a tiny country in the caribbean to enable you travel you are coming to throw someone who is fine i mean like she attempted it's not like she did not but a lot of people were dragging her she's setting she's this she's this so that is why fiela came for nigerians and i don't have a problem with it okay i said it before that one day there will come a time when nigerians will be begging please stop bullying us <laughs> after they have done you all teach you everything you see now if you're a nigerian and you are angry with what she said in the video join the protest okay you know past that one join the protest and save the soul of nigeria just few days into the protest dollar have gone back to 1400 naira. and maybe if we continue if we all come together and say no enough is enough our government can decide to go lower with the dollar the dollar can go back to at least a thousand era uh -huh. so you understand because right now where the country is is, is is not in a good place where you will leave it and come and mock other people for, I mean, attempting to break Guinness Book of Record. And it's not like it affected her in any ways. She has different deals, different gigs coming in for her. She have, through that, she have met the president, all the celebrities in Ghana, businesses are looking for her. So what are you mocking? All right, so that is it. When you give, you collect. <laughs> 2024. So in 2024, if you are not strong, leave social media, go home. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in another one. Bye. <laughs>